the book, Social Character in a Mexican Village. It was reprinted 25 years later by Transaction. I wrote a due introduction to it. And uh, it looked at the relationship between character, personality factors, and on the one hand, productivity in a very, very uh, objective way. For example, you could show that people who are psychologically more productive and independently would plant crops that took a lot more work and pay off, whereas those who are much more passive and uh, had come out of that hacienda system were easily seduced into planting sugar cane, which took very little work, which was run by the sugar refinery, which paid kind of made them into... Subcontractors. Hmm? Subcontractors. Yeah. Subcontractors, but who made much less money and but could be lazy, didn't have to work, were much more alcoholic. Uh, you could, we could begin to really see what that certain idealistic ideas like giving everybody land would not work if it, the personality didn't wasn't a productive personality could make use of it. Otherwise, these people also were very easily um, exploited by new entrepreneurs who would come in and buy their land, which is illegal, but uh, because under the Mexican government after the revolution, the ajito system meant you were given a piece of land, but it was unalienable. You were not supposed to sell it, and so on. And so we could see how the, the system was being undermined because of the personalities of, of these peasants. I did, a, a, I did a very careful study on alcoholism, showing that alcoholism had to do with, not, with a number of factors, personality, in, opportunity, the socioeconomic condition, and also the, for the, it was mainly men who were alcoholic, the kind of woman they married. And the ones who were passive and very macho, which is often the case, that the, these receptive, passive, mother-tied individuals be, try to pretend that they're really tough guys, muy macho, and um, that the, when they married tough women who, <laughs> who really made them feel small, castrated them, they would drink to feel tough again. So you had to, you had to understand, to understand alcoholism, you had to understand a number of, of potentialities that would come together. Also, the, if there were a lot of fiestas and drinking and so on, that made much more opportunity, as opposed to the more productive peasants who didn't want to put money into fiestas. They were much more interested in uh, education, they were more interested in sports, they were more interested in staying healthy, and you could begin to see what development could be and what was really the basis for development. 